So nice to meet you to all of you. I'm happy to be here and I like to speak about the uh, animated score. What is an animated score? It's a score that is not written on a paper, you know, but is made with animation. Uh, why did uh, I decide to make an animation score? I decided to, to do it because, uh, especially for laptop orchestra and uh, auto-generated uh, audio video. In this case, in this project, I have uh, I made uh, sorry an electroacoustic piece, so it's composed by two parts, two main parts. One is the electroacoustic work, and uh, uh, the other part is the animated score. So a laptop of orchestra. What is a laptop orchestra? It's an orchestra made by uh, uh, computers uh, can follow a score. Uh, on, uh, on a video or personally or the score can be uh, shown on, uh, on a screen like this, like, uh, in, uh, that, like what we are doing. So the electroacoustic par uh, part has been made with uh, uh, essentially with the Reaper, that it was the DO, the, the editor, and uh, was made by sample sounds and all these sounds uh, has been manipulated electronically and the animated score has been made with the uh, uh, with the link via osc with maximum speed that is uh, uh, used for audio and also video but in this case i decided to do the video part with the processing uh, that is another uh, video <laughs> yeah explain a little more to the audience about Max MSP because this is the most challenging software our days for composers to, to compose music with computers using a lot of any kind of sensors, uh, uh, identifying changing of uh, uh, temperature, light, uh, air pressure, everything uh, what you can imagine. So please Explain a little about the Max MSP to the audience. Yeah, of course, of course. Uh, Max MSP is a program made uh, uh, with uh, different parts in it: uh, the audio part and the jitter part. The jitter part is the is the video part. Uh, the MSP is the, the audio part, but you can also connect it with the Arduino. So it's possible, for example, I made some years ago another project with Arduino, with lights, with LED lights and Max MSP. So uh, I could, for example, turn on the lights and made uh, the sounds. I know that with Arduino Raspberry, uh, you can do that easily, but the difference between Max MSP and Arduino is that uh, this goes out in uh, 64 bits. And uh, Arduino, as you know, is eight. So the resolution, uh, uh, the, the bits are like the, <laughs> the pixel, <laughs> if we want to compare with, with something visual. So uh, you have the maximum resolution with this program and the lowest resolution with Arduino. And uh, uh, for example, the video games of the 80, uh, of the 18, uh, of the 1980, uh, were out in eight bits. So you understand that Arduino goes out like uh, the sound was in uh, uh, is it 20, uh, first 42 years ago. So. Uh, Usually now we use Max MSP because it's out in uh, 64 uh, bits and uh, you can do a lot of things with it. It's a program you can, uh, you can as, as he was saying, uh, using sensors. You can, uh, you can have that with all the, the kind, or everything you have in Arduino, you can connect also with, with uh, Max MSP through uh, uh, a standard called standard firmata. I don't know if you know that, but they, they connect with the standard firmata. 
anyway is something that you download. You just download the standard Firmata, connect with Arduino, then you have the programmation in Arduino and goes to in, in Max MSP and you can change all the uh, parameters uh, uh, with the uh, with the audio, especially also in this case with an object that is called line, that is uh, a special, a magical object. So, uh, is it enough? <laughs> is it enough? Do you have any questions? We will see Max later, so you, you see how is it. Yeah. Yeah, an animated score is, uh, is a score that uh, you can follow because something is moving. So I will show you in a, uh, in a second. So it's time to see it, <laughs> I think so. So this is the, the video of the animated score. Uh, we have Okay, here I have a clock, I, have, I put a clock. For a, this is just, you know, a project that I started with five laptops. For example, what's your name? George. George, George you are the first laptop, so you, you follow the first grid. What's your name? Adrian. Adrian, <laughs> Adrian is the second grid, is the yellow one. For example, Vladimir is the third grid, is, is the blue one. So he, me is the red one on the fourth grid. So all these sounds comes from the fade in and fade out of each laptop. So each one of us play something, as you see, not always. And this, this is what, what, came, came from, what comes from and uh, uh, so this is like a score, but it's in, in, anim in animation, you know, you see? Maybe it's not on a paper. And uh, I think that the best, uh, the best thing of this, uh, of, uh, of this project is that the public can see the score. That is not so usual. Because usually the performer play the piano has got his score and no one knows what, what's written, you know? Actually, there are some, some projects of... Uh, uh, actually, there are some projects, you know, in, uh, in VR, but no one can see the score, just the performer. So, in this case, uh, I, this is, this is a, de a decision that, that I did. It was that uh, this work goes with the video. So it's not just for performers, but it's also for, uh, for the public. Of course, I had some problems on it, and I had, uh, added a clock, as you, as you see. So if someone <laughs> like uh, don't know where <laughs> is it, he can find. But anyway, this is not the timeline. It's not a timeline. Uh, it means that uh, not all the computer, as you see, maybe this computer is now here, and it is uh, two minutes and a half, and you see the first computer is two minutes and a half, and is on the back, so it's linear. It's not, it's not um, vertical. It's not vertical. And then we have the two, uh, I did it in uh, two pages because I had the first line was 20, 20 takes. Uh, so uh, when, when they arrived to the last one, uh, it, it changed. You see that change? So I, I made two pages of animated score. And when they arrive, they, they change. So it's, it's just linear, you see, as, as you read it. If you, if you look now to the, to the blue one, you see? it goes to the second page. So, uh, and this is the soundtrack. Uh, I will show you in a moment. I don't know, is, is it clear what, 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 what's happening in, the, in this project? Is it clear? You could say so. What? You could say so. Okay. Maybe the question is, if this is a score to be performed after seeing the score, 
So you prepare the score, you gave us the laptops, and you start the score, and we follow. <laughs> yeah, to, to, to do that. I should bring with me like something else to do that. But anyway, it's okay. And so this is what, what I did. Okay. What was behind <laughs> all of this? So uh, how a solo or laptop orchestra, because it's possible also to play it solo with different MIDI controller, of course, can read the score of an electroacoustic work in a clear way. Because this was a fundamental question to, as composer, to be clear to the performance and to to let them know as much as possible what you want, you know? It's something you, you write a poetry and no one can read it. It's okay, maybe it's wonderful, but <laughs> maybe it's not very useful, you know? <laughs> so uh, it's possible to involve the public in this process, and this is what I was talking about to you before. So uh, it, can the public see the, the score, or the score will be just for performers? The second question was, is possible to make everything auto-generative? I'm still working on it because I have to, to make modules, different modules, but it's of course it's possible to, to make the audio part and, and, and the video part together in auto-generative uh, uh, perspective. Uh, so it's possible for solo, for laptop, the, uh, for, and for how it will be for auto-generative after I will show it to you. Uh, so I'm talking now, any questions? No? I'm talking now uh, on, uh, on the, the audio part that I made in Reaper. So the musical part, because what is the problem? <laughs> that if you use a system, you need to, to do everything for that system because maybe it's not so flexible as you can, as you, as you want, you know? So how to compose the mu musical part and how to organize it? That was the, uh, the main problem because I knew this one. I knew that maybe my, my, my composition would be in, uh, uh, divided into three main parts. Maybe now is uh, zero to two. It was just an hypothesis, you know, before, to, uh, before doing that. So it's divided in three main parts with uh, two different kinds of sound. It is the spectrum of a puntillistic and this is the spectrum of, of a soundscape. But I had a huge problem with that because uh, if you, what is the problem when uh, you, you program something that you have to simplify as maximum as you can all the data. Uh, I think that this is the most important thing during programming and do it during some, uh, doing something like uh, that is new. So uh, I, this is the example. And it's not all because I have more than 25 takes uh, of Codex, the work uh, of uh, uh, today. This is another work. Uh, but as you can see, this, uh, these are called takes, this one. And uh, all the line is called track. What, what is the problem with a usual piece of electroacoustic music? That, as you see, I have thousands of data. Because how long is each one? How much are the fade in and fade out? How, mu how much is the volume? And uh, you see that uh, in electroacoustic music, we don't use to, to work in grids. There are no grids. This is very useful for MIDI, but not for electroacoustic uh, music. Why I, I say this? I, I say this just because it means that you, maybe you don't start to one. Maybe to start to one, 
point two, point three, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> in, uh, uh, so you have more data, you know. Uh, <laughs> you don't have one, uh, you know, one second. I start this one at one and this one at four, but maybe I have uh, at one point two point three. Too many data. Yeah. Uh, so, and the problems are the short sounds. Why the short sounds? Because if you need to fade in and fade out really uh, fastly, yeah, you, you don't have with the eyes the time to, to see that and, and do that. Just like, beep. Yeah, like, <laughs> like <laughs> <Beep>. <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah, it's very difficult to, to see. Do you see the, the green sh shorts? They are all shorts, all shorts, very short sound. So um, it, they are not very useful, I think, for this kind of animation. Anyway, all different fades, fade in and fade out, and the number of takes. You see, they, they are, I think, more than 20. This is, this is a big decision because <laughs> you can work <laughs> for, <laughs> for the people that will uh, live after you. <laughs> <laughs> but in this case, <laughs> I decided to finish when I was alive. <laughs> this is a huge decision, you know, <laughs> to understand that I want to finish it. So what is the key to simplify? What? The number of tracks and takes. This one is the, the original, the, the, um, the picture of the project uh, of line. You see the differences. You see with the, you see with this one. Yeah, so is uh, is simplify everything because so it's very simple. Five laptop, so tracks and you can see the takes and you can see that I put the grids. Why I put the grids? Because I need a, a, um, a timing, a special timing to start and end. Simple timing, like 1.2 to 3, <laughs> like, you see? So it was composed in, uh, in this way. Um, and the number of different fade in and fade out, we're speaking later of this, the timing of stop, a stop uh, of each ta take, Th this was the, the, this were the problem. So this was my personal decision, work in fine tracks, work with the usual fade in and out of two seconds. So what does it mean? It, mean that it means that uh, quite all the takes has got two seconds in and two seconds of fade out. Uh, put the start and the end of the tracks on a grid, as I told you before. So, uh, what was happening? How is it possible to make a complex electroacoustic piece with a few sounds? Because if you saw, I simplified a lot all the things. Yeah. So to export the complex sounds in one take. So what's behind this one? Uh, behind this one, there is this one. There is this one. So what happened? I did it the piece in uh, always with the grid, but uh, I export the complex sound like that one together. So they are not just simple sounds, but in the rendering, yeah, in the rendering, I export all the, the, the take that are together. For example, the first one is all in one, not two tracks, and so it became uh, this one, this one, this one. This is uh, the usual score. What should I write uh, to, the, to the orchestral laptop to understand when they do start and when they do finish uh, and what to do? So, for example, laptop one, the first, uh, the first take is, the first, uh, is timing two seconds to 13 seconds with a fade in of two seconds, a fade out of two seconds. The second track of the laptop one uh, seven starts at 17 seconds, finish at 44 uh, seconds, fade in 
six seconds fade out four seconds. So they were, they, these uh, were all the timing of the whole composition. It's like uh, seven pages. Uh, just to know who's in and who's out and when and with which kind of fade to stay in and to stay out. After this, quite all has got two seconds, so you see, just to simplify. Some, uh, someone has 10, 10 or 6, but mostly they are two seconds. This is the other, uh, the other uh, schedule of the starting <laughs> position in milliseconds. So laptop one will have a 20 takes, laptop two 16, laptop three 16, laptop four 15, and laptop five uh, 11. Uh, these are, um, they just came with the composition. I didn't decide before how many takes to have, okay? So is uh, uh, this is so I made this after made in the composition. So in laptop one is the first take starts at two thousand. We, we speak every time in milliseconds. So, uh, Max speak uh, in uh, milliseconds. So it's two seconds, but it's two thousand milliseconds. One and, uh, and second take starts at seventeen. Uh, third uh, at 46 and, and so on. So these are the starting, starting points of all the composition. Uh, of course, as I told you before, is if, uh, if uh, I didn't work with grids, maybe I have other three numbers here, three different numbers. This was the problem to have to, if I didn't work with the grids, to have too many data, also with just five lines, you know? So, and, uh, but <laughs> I think the other, <laughs> the other thing that is very use, useful for if you uh, program something is, is to have like uh, uh, a saving parameter. It's like the reset button, you know? It's uh, something that saves your life <laughs> during a live performance. Um, and, and so I put uh, two saving parameters. When, while I was rendering, I put, I, I put like really small, small, small fades in and out, just not to have the, ooh, <laughs> if, you, if you're wrong to, if you do that too much earlier, you know? If you do that earlier, maybe the sound comes and is, is uh, too loud. And the other parameter is the volume. I export with the, with the normal volume, the, vo the volume I wanted. What does it mean? That the fade that you saw in the, in the animated score goes from zero to one. Okay, so the maximum is the, is the level I want of the uh, of the um, of the composition of each take, so in in this case, so you you will never be too loud in respect of the others because the volume is rendered the takes are rendered in in a kind of of uh, vo volume. Max MSP patch. Okay, uh, I show you now before this one mm, i show you how it's working uh, this is processing this is the uh, osc uh, we will i will tell you all the parameters uh, uh, later this is uh, um, this is the size of the the background the clock uh, and these are the data this is the grid one with the each one of rectangles and the else uh, is um, uh, with the with the other part the, the, we have the second part uh, because i told you it's uh, two pages yeah so the first page and the second page so um, So this is what we were seeing, and this is uh, the max MSP. 
So uh, we will speak later about this. This is the programmation in, uh, in Max MSP. And uh, uh, every time you see uh, something with R, it means R, it means receive. With S, it means send. Uh, with P is a sub patch inside. This is the, the uh, interfaces between the, the two communication programs. Anyway, uh, and uh, so there are uh, two main pages with Max and one page in uh, in uh, pr processing. I put here the starting time at. Uh, two seconds here. Everything starts after two seconds because it's like the director. Uh, uh, there are no orchestra that starts at zero. They start all after two movements, <laughs> or they start after three, <laughs> or they start after, <laughs> you know, the <laughs> there's always the, the director that give a, a small timing before, you know, before the starting point. So it's, it will start at uh, two. So here we have the, uh, the start. So if I, I push the, the start at two, you see it starts the, the, the visual part. And we saw that. OK, this is uh, how it works. Of course, there is the, the saving also here, the, the reset. And inside each, you see the, the P is a sub patch inside each of, of uh, this, uh, there are uh, a lot of sub patches uh, for each laptop that uh, give uh, give the timing of the uh, of the of the fade in and the fade out. So, I uh, I show you just one uh, one moment. Uh, this one, for example. This is uh, you need. Uh, you can color the first uh, so the first rectangle, and put a fade in. Uh, go. This this means uh, go from. This is go from zero to one hundred in two uh, thousand milliseconds, and goes from one hundred to zero in two thousand milliseconds. Okay, so it means goes up and. Uh, in two milliseconds, it uh, goes down in two milliseconds. Uh, this is an object that you will use a lot if you will uh, put Arduino with, the, with this program. And this send to laptop one. So uh, in the middle, you find another object that is called delay that uh, is uh, more useful for numbers than f that for audio. Uh, so it's for numbers because for audio we use uh, mm, uh, another object, object that is called tap in and tap out. Anyway, the del it means uh, the, uh, it uh, do the, the sustain, okay, after the two milliseconds. So fade in, okay, count two, then you have the sustain, and stay in the sustain for seven thousand milliseconds. So it's seven seconds up, and then go, go down from 100 to zero in two milliseconds. So what it means? It means that <laughs> this, uh, the, the whole uh, take, it was 11, 11 seconds, OK? Two fade in, two fade out, and so seven is the sustain. That is a simple count, but it, it, I did it for all the takes. It's for that that I told you, because they are not always like this. This is fade in to 0 to 50 in, uh, in 6 seconds. Stay there for 70 seconds and go down uh, for 4 seconds. So the full take was 6 plus se 70 plus I don't know if it's clear. Yeah. What? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't know if it's quite clear. Anyway, and for each one of them, we have the, the data, and the data are what I showed you before uh, in the presentation. I, I took them from here, of course. 
from here and for example here. So start at two milliseconds, arrive to 13, so is 11, fade in, fade out, yeah? This one is the first example that I did, that I did. How to say to the program uh, uh, the starting point? When to start? So I made another, another in the other patch. Yeah, these are the, the receiving and this is going to, uh, to processing uh, with the, and these are the on, off. Okay, look to grid one, look to this. If I do this, you see, this is the change of the page. So when it's zero is, is the first page, when it's one is the second. Is this the second grid? This is the third grid, fourth grid, the fifth grid, okay? So it, it goes uh, in, uh, in this way. Uh, if we, we go here, we have the, the values. Okay, this is the starting point of each take. This one is the first one, laptop uno, two. You see, two seconds, so is this one, this parameter. So, 2000. The second one is start at 17, so it's 70,000, okay? So it's, uh, this was the, the main idea. So we have in the, in the Max MSP, the OSC communication with processing, one clock, fade-ins and fade-out, timing of, of starting and ending of each take. So these are the parameters that, that I used for, to do that. Uh, this is what I was telling you. So the on-off, the clock, the communication, the numbers of, uh, of each take. This is what's inside. Then I, I put the start as, as I show you and the, and the reset. And in each one, we, we have the fade in and fade out for each take. So uh, with the OSC communication, uh, Okay, I made, uh, yeah, the start, this is what, how is made the, the clock. As you see, is, uh, um, it works, uh, it, it's not like uh, uh, Java or like, uh, you see, the, we have images, uh, we have special objects and we combine objects, yeah, uh, to do the, the clock. Then the off on, uh, as I told you, change the grid, second, first uh, grid or second grid. Uh, something receive the timing of, of each take. And so we have the, okay, this one, everything is in a sub patch. Anyway, and this is the starting of, of each take, what I was talking to you before. So the timing is, uh, is uh, so uh, we have the starting that goes in here. It goes, go up, go down to the, to the fade. And, uh, and we have the, the sustain for the, for the long term of, the, of each take. Uh, the visual idea. The visual idea was uh, uh, inspired by some works of Pete Mondrian, that was a painter. Um, the colors of the, of the, um, of the work uh, are uh, modeled in uh, RGB. So I found the, the Mondrian colors in RGB. Uh, and uh, the chosen color are red, yellow, blue, and black, and white for, uh, for the grid. 
This is uh, the painting, uh, one painting of, uh, of Mondrian. Uh, so these are the RGB for, for the colors, the red, the yellow and, uh, and blue. And uh, the first idea was to, uh, to use different, um, different colors here different colors you see he he used uh, different colors for each grid not the same color but i thought that for for a live performance for laptop orchestra for something was too much to change the color uh, maybe it was confusing the the performers so i decided to give uh, the same color for uh, for each uh, for each grid so um each line has got the same color. In processing, I told you this is uh, the communication OSC. The, then we have a float laptop, one, two, three, four, five, the number of laptops that we have seconds and minutes in the, in the seventh line, you see. And then we have uh, a float number for each take of each laptop. So laptop number one, take number one, and all the stuff. Um, this is what happened if this is the first page, grid one. These are the number of rectangle I have in the grid one in the first page. This one uh, to do the do that red because they are all white at the beginning. Do it red, and then we have the second page with the grid one in uh, red in, uh, in grid one. The application of these are uh, these uh, for uh, also solo and auto generator also because I can also make like uh, two lines live and three in uh, automated. Maybe, maybe I want just to play safe. So I make one <laughs> and four in <laughs> automated. <laughs> It depends <laughs> if you want to play safe or not. <laughs> anyway, it is possible, the, of, of course, with the MIDI controllers, with, uh, uh, can be a lip bulb, can, can be a nano control uh, of Korg uh, to, to put the fade in. It's very simple because uh, you, in, uh, you interface this, this one with the, or the DO or with the Maxim SP uh, with a special uh, command. But the possibilities in a, in a DO, what does it mean? Uh, if, I, if I put the, the sounds, uh, uh, these are the two possibilities. To use a DO, so for example, to use Reaper and play it, the takes from Reaper, looking and watching the score. Uh, or it's possible to made, made another patch in Max MSP and don't use Reaper. Anyway, if, if I play Reaper in uh, Reaper, for example, uh, you have, um, <laughs> uh, you have to play and you have to fade in and fade out, yeah, with a MIDI controller. So every time you have to play and fade in and fade out. If you play with uh, uh, different takes, I've exported all in uh, also different takes. So I can have a lot of takes and decided just to, to play each one of them. So I have to push play and then fade in, fade out, then push play, fade in, fade out. Or in one take as uh, like, uh, these are, these are, this is the first one, for example, this is the second one, you know. So I, I push play, oh, sorry, uh, I push play, I have to fade in and fade out, you know, you see? I here the same, yeah? And I have to fade in and fade out. But also I have a second version where I, I extra, I render all the line, so I need just to fade in and fade out. What happened, for example? This is uh, to play, this is the full track of the laptop one. So you just need to play, play at the beginning and fade in and fade out. What does it mean? That this is possibility allows to public and, chil and also to children to play it because uh, they just need to put a fade in and out when they see the video. 
So it is extended not just to musicians, but also to uh, uh, normal people in this way. So because uh, you have the controller, you fade in and fade out when, when uh, your color goes on and, uh, and off. Uh, in the second case, in this case, uh, where I have each take uh, is uh, more difficult because I have to, to, pu to put the, uh, uh, the player every time on each take and then fade in and fade out. So it, uh, it depends on uh, how to, to use it. Of course, uh, if, I have, uh, if I have this, if I, if I know the fade in uh, this one go from 0 to 100 in 2000 and I know this one and I know that one, the usual, <laughs> and Adam knows, <laughs> is to, I can connect that with a gain and this I will show you later. This will go up with this, goes down with this and will stay seven seconds. And what does it mean? It means that if this one, I connect this one to a player, it means that the, the, uh, the track will, uh, uh, will have a fade-in controlled by that and will stay seven seconds and will fade out with, the, and this is the exit. This uh, the, the, uh, is a digital analog converter, so as the speakers. So I'm doing uh, this one. Uh, I'm uh, uh, still doing because I have to do that for each uh, each model. So it's a long, it's just long to to do, but uh, but it's it's possible to to do it. Uh, and uh, okay, you see. If, uh, now we are not connected, but. You see, this is automated. It's going up with two seconds. Now we we'll stay seven seconds. The track has started, and now it goes. Okay, so this is, this will be all automated. But I have to set the parameter of the gain to uh, uh, and to put all the takes inside each uh, each uh, sub patch. So it's quite long to do, but, but it's, uh, it's, not, uh, it's not difficult to do it, okay? Uh, it just <laughs> the worst is to think how to do that, okay? So uh, I want to, to tell you that I don't know, I, I see a lot of young people and uh, my next project that they will not be next year, maybe into two years, so I don't know, but not, <laughs> not uh, into 10, <laughs> so <laughs> quite fast or less. If you are interested, I'm looking for where I hire developers, animators, Unity, Python programmers. I saw someone that was uh, using uh, Unity here. Yeah, you? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. If you want, you can write, me, uh, write down my name and my name, we stay in contact, uh, because I have some projects of my mind with uh, these programs and I cannot, I'm sure I cannot do everything alone, I'm, I'm sure. <laughs> anyway, uh, if you want to be involved in, uh, in some kind of this kind of stuff, so um, like musical with the video and all the things, and I want to thank you all, uh, all of you. Uh, do you have any questions? I shock it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So you have uh, maybe some sample that you can show us, which is uh, more. Please speak down so we can hear what there is. So there. my question is: Do you have a sample that that's? Um, more complex, maybe I don't know how to how to explain it. Um, like a music, like I mean, yeah, just give it to me. Now. Ah, do you want to see something uh, like a project in a, um, like a musical project, like a musical project in Reaper? No, no, my question is. Uh, ah. Ah. Generated. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay.
<laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how to. <laughs> I don't know because I have uh, I have projects in the So the idea of the project is to generate music. I think no, the music is already generated and the idea of the project is to interpret, to play this music live or uh, with Tim. automation. Yeah. Uh, I mean the, the very exciting part of this project is the project as it is and you change the sound files, the audio files. Instead of these files, mm. you can put files with human voice, speed, sounds uh, from the street, and then when we play live, we put sounds on the street, and following the graphic, you compose together a piece made by the sound of street, but performed probably yeah. and performed by us. So now what is the question? Значи целият проект доколко доколко там го разбрах е да използвайки едни аудиофайли от те показва в началото три файла. Един от началото до втората секунда, след това от минута, след това от пет секунда. Три от седмата, от седмата до двенадцата. Това са три аудиофайла с които тя работи. И тя прави една програма с Max, която програма, идеята е да може да бъде а, тези файлове, накъсани на разни парчета, да бъдат възпроизведени по няколко начина. Единият начин с петима живи изпълнители, на които им дава един лаптоп. Те да гледат графиката. Аз бях I was the blue eye. Yeah, yeah. Аз да гледам синята линия. И когато видя някъде, че mm. почва едно квадратче да светва синето, аз си отварям и в това време, когато аз отварям, аз си отварям един звук, който в компютъра ме чака да го отворя. Нали? Другият начин е, нали, крайният начин е това да бъде изцяло програмирано, така че ти не пускаш копчета и това те експортва една интерпретация на тези три аудиофайла. Окей. Okay. He was clearer than me. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Thank uh, you. No, because uh, maybe my English was uh, yeah, not so good. Yeah, you the, the, the basic Ah, the idea of the project. I'm sorry, yeah. yeah. You will start to generate our music and play it. A the music bit. has been generated and the yeah. idea is to, to perform the, uh, the music in different ways. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it is like, uh, it, this is the starting point of something that maybe it will be uh, like uh, more and more big, uh, like a uh, lot bigger in uh, uh, in the next years, because I have on my mind what will happen after. I, I cannot tell you. I, I will tell to the Unity guys. <laughs> but <laughs> but <laughs> but and now it's secret <laughs> what will happen. But anyway, uh, it, um, yeah, the project. Uh, this is the starting point of, of something else uh, the, uh, that uh, I think is is quite good for for animated score and not to to write the score on a paper because I think, in my opinion, it's quite simple to follow phase in and uh, and uh, phase out and also for people that are not musicians. But, uh, and you, and it's possible, of course, I, I understood you, that to change the tracks, to change the piece. Yeah, the sound yeah every time you have to change all the parameters, but it's okay. <laughs> so, um, every time you, you need to change uh, how long and all the stuff in, uh, in processing, but, but it's okay, it's possible to do it in, in not so much time. It was more the, the programming part to understand what to do and, and, uh, and how to do that, you know. Uh, anyway, the, I think the most uh, useful thing <coughs> for, for young people is to simplify everything, I think. Because uh, you see, I, I, I simplify, not too much. yeah, not too much, but simplify and understand what are the, the what is the, pr the processing of going ahead, you know, why, why do you want to arrive? 
And so you can make it then more and more difficult, you know. Uh, you start with something and then maybe it will be something uh, bigger. Yeah, could be. Any questions? I have one question. Uh, seeing the, <coughs> the musical scores represented as kind of a graph, uh, made me think a little and can you see it becoming a way of analyzing the patterns of the mixing of the sounds, uh, samples in different genres of music? As in more clear, uh, clearly defining the design patterns of the standard scores for different types of atmospheres, as in tension in movies or uh, action scores. Do you think I should uh, vi uh, uh, with the visual to follow the tracks? Uh, Did I understand well? Sorry, I, maybe I. I could have misspoken. Uh, my general question is if tracks that have been already made fully can be put into the program and analyzed to sort of be better on this, uh, so their structure can be better understood on the kind of a data science level. Uh, I don't understand really, but uh, I, uh, you, you can, you can put it, you can put also, wh what mu music do you use to listen to? Mostly rock music. Rock music, okay. Uh, you can put here also like, uh, like a track of Iron Maiden, for example. Yeah, is the question is, uh, is it possible to be more oriented to a let's say to a beat, rhythmical, yes. organized yes. to a beat. Yes. Quite possible. Yeah, it's possible. Yes. Yeah, 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 it's possible. Uh, in this case, it's electroacoustic music. So it, it, it has a clock. You, s you saw the, the, the clock, yeah. that say, yeah, the, the timing. Is it possible also to do that with MIDI? These are... Um, you know, it's, it's just samples, so you, you decide what. <laughs> you, you decide which, if you want to put Iron Maiden, you put Iron Maiden. If you want to put Dire Streets, you put Dire Streets. <laughs> if you want to put the, the doors, you put <laughs> the doors. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, Maybe in case mm, it's yeah. beat oriented, yeah. the performance should have a click, but basically the, this will be the same program. Just, you will start maybe you should rewrite the graphics so that every start will be should be adjusted to a beat, to a, an exact beat. But this is quite possible. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. It's possible. This is good, good output for for the ideas. Yeah, yeah. But it's good because uh, you are telling me to 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 try it with with MIDI. Mm -hmm. I will try to do that. I will try. Any other ideas and not questions? <laughs> I, I prefer <laughs> ideas, <laughs> as all the people, you know. <laughs> yeah. I prefer ideas. If no further questions, <laughs> really, one more time, any more, any questions? But also not questions, like ideas, like this one. Yeah, this ideas. is an idea, you know. Uh, thi this Maybe is an you idea. Should, you should uh, put uh, the slide before, and you can take a picture of the email. And in, claim, in case of further questions, just yeah. ask this lady because she's open for co-projects. No, of course. And this is of the course. exciting and inspiring part of our work. If you think uh, maybe we should have like something else, I don't know, what, um, maybe you have any other ideas? So you, you can listen and yeah. you can see the whole track, and this uh, this piece on the side of the uh, computer space because all the projects are there. There are links also, there are links to, yeah. to her compositions and yeah. you can you can uh, check out anytime Daria's work. And uh, what are the rules, the sounds that you use? 
Ah, we, we just, uh, I just had samples. Uh, I took some samples at home. I took some samples on the, like, uh, around the city. I took some samples. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. In this, in this project, lo lots of sounds are uh, like uh, of artisans artisan sounds uh, so artisans around the city you know artisans, person areas yeah yeah like uh, people, people like us are yeah <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> yeah people working <laughs> with uh, with the wood or people with with metals yeah. i don't know the name the english name anyway yeah 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 they are they are sound of the city in the other project uh, uh, I did it all, the whole project the, uh, of Codex uh, with three sounds: uh, the clip, clip, clip of the of the machine type of the typewriter, the awarded one, <laughs> and uh, the click ping of the typewriter, and yeah. and the of the typewriter, all the typewriters. Yeah, there they were just three sounds in in Codex in the other project. You, you yeah, this is this is the uh, the project, but you don't see this uh, that sounds uh, you see because uh, you don't see the sounds uh, because uh, they are not. No, I'm sorry, I don't have the full project here. I'm sorry. No problem. Uh, it's okay. Uh, uh, but anyway, we, we used to work uh, in this way, to have small samples and do all the whole composition in a, in a, uh, uh, of electroacoustic music. We just work with few sounds, not with many sounds and put together many sounds. Are there ideas, things, <laughs> maybe, no? Okay. So okay, thank you. Thank, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you.